What is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, today's a Monday here in London. And I'm back. This will be Tea with Alex. So let's get it started. So the first thing I want to say is, uh, what tea am I drinking? I am drinking a peppermint tea right now. Uh, just pure peppermint tea. If you didn't know, peppermint is really good for boosting your immune system as well as reducing stress, good for digestion. And it's a herbal tea, which means it's an infusion. So it's not technically tea. What is tea is what comes from the plant Camellia sinensis. Camellia sinensis. That's how you say it properly. Oh, fuck, this is good. So what I want to talk about today is about Nietzsche and his concept of the superhuman or the ubermensch, okay? What this is going to be, this is going to be more practical philosophy, okay? I'm not going to go in depth about all the technicalities, all the things that I know a lot of other like YouTube channels go into uh, because I want to make it accessible, I want to make it relatable, and I also want to make it something that you can apply in your everyday life. And why is this important? So we want to talk about three main concepts, okay? Nihilism and the revaluation of values. We want to talk about the superhuman, and we want to talk about will to power, which is my favorite. And how do these three things connect to you? to your everyday life. What can you do, okay? So, what is nihilism? It's the rejection of all religious and moral principles in the belief that life is meaningless, okay? How do we get into this conclusion, right? So, um, we need to talk about God for a second, all right? So, God, um, for a lot of people, is what gives you purpose, right? So, why are you in this earth? Because God put you there, right? God is also the judge of your actions in a way because uh, if you do good deeds uh, you go to heaven if you do bad deeds you go to hell so what he says and how he um, talks about nihilism is that God is dead right now a lot of people misinterpret that but what that means is that the morality of what that implied and the sense of purpose surrounded about around a higher being that has ended no afterlife for reward or punishment and no purpose, right? So why do we live now? Like, what do we do now? Uber Mensch. Okay, so that is Superman in German. Becoming a superhuman, okay? He wants us to become a superhuman. And what that means is someone who is psychologically strong. He also states that it's someone who is not concerned with other worlds. He is only concerned with this life. The Superman or superhuman grasps the reality he's in and appreciates it, right? He dictates its own morality and he is also taking ownership of his actions because he's not ruled by fear anymore. Okay, so that is the concept of a superhuman, right? And we could also state objective morality ends when God's life ends in that sense, right? And then we are turned into subjective morality. What is the purpose that we develop for ourselves? What is our own motor for personal evolution? Values are created for us to survive and grow. Values are a thing that we created. We made them up, right? It's a social construct. When values are used to bring people down or through social institutions to abuse power, those values need to be reinvented. So values are good when they serve for our survival and growth, but they're bad when they deny the abuse of power by social institutions. The third thing that he talks about is will to power. Okay. The great human and the great deed belong to a destiny, one that emerges in situations of crisis or great want. I love this. Human energy stored and kept dormant for long periods of time in dark clouds of indifference. Right? So basically what he's saying is that happiness is the feeling 
that power increases, but not power as in like power, you know what I mean? Like power over other things. He means power when the resistance is overcome, when we are able to overcome obstacles. Okay, so in order for that inspiration to come, we need to transcend from will to power right so what is will right and this is my own humble interpretation of what he means when he says will will is the possibility and power is the doing is the action what can we take out from that okay so first of all nihilism um in a way i see it as something that you can apply in your own life by not taking yourself too seriously you know in the end Things are meaningless because the universe tends to chaos, in my own opinion, but that is not a bad thing, you know? Uh, we as humans and as people tend to tie meaning to everything, but we don't have to, right? Some things don't have meaning and good things happen and bad things happen uh, and that's just the way it is. So I feel like there is some liberation in understanding that a lot of the things that happen in the world are random, okay? So that is when it comes to nihilism. Values. Always be aware and self-aware of our own actions and of the values that surround us, okay? If you are trapped in a situation, right? You're trapped in a relationship. You are trapped in a relationship with friends that are not serving you in survival or growth, that are deteriorating your quality of life by putting you down by making you feel less of a human, I think those values need to be reevaluated. And when he talks about the reevaluation of values, I uh, bring it to today's world in the sense of self-worth and knowing what your values are and what values do you want to live by. Not necessarily something that someone else has told you, but what is the thing that is right for you? Superhuman, the Ubermensch. What I think about that is psychologically strong. What is psychologically strong? It's keeping your mind at bay, okay? Keeping, uh, continuing to feed your mind with things that are good for you, right? Um, I would say meditation is good. I would say also like connecting with the people that you care about, okay? Asking how like other people are. Um, diving into the unknown. I continuously question everything around you and appreciate the reality that you're in right now okay i'm in this beautiful backyard uh it's like a, a bit chilly but i like it and i'm really happy uh about where i am and i think that sense of appreciation and bring yourself to this life and not concerning yourself with all of the other lives that may exist out there that is the ultimate superhuman to me um the ubermensch if you will uh is not someone who is perfect is someone who is self-aware who questions his surroundings who always does his best and who is able to appreciate everything in life all the little things too okay and will to power being able to soar through the clouds of indifference find what you want to do Define your own purpose and use power. The power of doing, the power of taking action. Action. Okay. All right. So I think that's it. Uh, I think that's that's everything for this first episode. Uh, I'm really really excited to be doing this. Uh, I think I found my niche. I found what I wanted to do, which is good. Which is tea with Alex. We get to like share this moment. Um, I can, I can imagine that I'm with my friends back in Argentina. Uh, just a reminder: if you are from Argentina, you can always turn on the subtitles in Spanish. But if you want to practice some English, you can put them in English too. This is practical philosophy. Okay, so I don't want to get lost in depth about the concepts themselves. I want to think about how can we apply these to everyday life to be a bit more happy. Okay, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Where have the last six months gone? We are back here. All right. 
Isn't that fucking crazy? You know, everything is cyclical in this world anyways. So if you want to hang out, bring a cup of tea, I'll be waiting for you. Thanks. <laughs>